Sure, you could have regular text labels, but they could also be rotated and faded for some reason. Here are some cities and here are their default labels. I'll start by turning off the symbology for this label, but leaving the label turned on. So all we see is the labels themselves. We take a look at the labeling properties and the symbol, a font that has a very narrow option works best. I'm gonna choose Roboto, which is available freely. The effect works best when the text is rather large. I'll choose a font size of 20. And the first part of the trick is in choosing an italic version of the font. And then the position options, we can choose centered on point and we'll rotate it so that the vertical features of these fonts render straight up and down. In this case, about 10 degrees. And I'll also opt out of word wrap. So they all render along one line. Back in the symbol, I'll give its text fill a vertical gradient and I'll go from white to a nearly transparent version of white, 90% in my example. And if I hit apply, I see that the vertical gradient isn't really accommodating for the fact that the text is rotated. So I'll dig into these properties, choose format polygon symbol, and I'll just add the same degree that I had rotated my text by, which was 10, which makes this a total of a 100 degree angle. Now if we hit apply, we can see that the gradient matches the orientation of our rotated italicized text. And so while my ascenders and descenders are the same height, I just like to use uppercase. And this is how you can make text that looks like it's kind of popping up off the screen a little bit.